every single time solstice comes around i get the same question which armor set should i buy normally i would refer people to my older videos but with new sets constantly being added to the game opinions do change and that doesn't really give you the full picture so i'm making this video for those guardians that are considering buying some of the older sets that they may have missed out on we're going to do two rankings the first will be based on polls i did on my various social media platforms there will be links to those down below for those rankings the armor will be grouped together by year for simplicity those votes will give us a good idea of where most of the community stands on these armor sets. And after, I'll rank them individually based on how often I see the sets used in actually good fashion. Since I post daily on all of my socials, I should have a good idea of that. Now, a couple of quick disclaimers. This video is being made before the new Solstice event for 2023 comes out, so it will not include the newest set. There will be a separate video for that coming out later. I also don't know ahead of time which of the armor sets will be sold in the store. Bungie tends to not sell the older ones, so just keep that in mind. Okay, so these are going to be the results of all of the polls that I did on social media. Pretty solid answer on the Condescent set for 2022 that absolutely lands itself at d tier um on twitter only six percent of you said that it was your favorite on youtube only three percent of you said that it was your favorite one so i think that lands us at a solid d tier especially whenever i consider my discord server because i told you guys to vote with the seal of approval on your favorite one and whenever i looked at the answers for the condescent set there were absolutely zero seals of approval and instead you guys left a whole lot of other reactions which were very funny now i didn't really get to make a poll including the 2018 set because on twitter and youtube it only allows you to do four options uh so i couldn't include this one but when i took a look at the comments on my instagram post and the results of the discord one i thought this one would land itself somewhere around a tier but it looks like it's a solid b tier it really didn't get a whole lot of comments about it despite you guys always talking about it in my videos so yeah kind of a surprise but i think that lands itself at a b tier for the sunset set this one also surprised me i thought this one was going to land itself somewhere around the b tier but it turns out it is a c tier one on youtube nine percent of you said that it was your favorite one on twitter 10% of you said that it was your favorite set. Those are pretty consistent results. So yeah, C tier. Now the other two, the 2020 set and the 2019 set, these two look like they were battling it out. Uh, I think the 2020 set lands itself at the A tier. It was really close. That one, 37% of you on Twitter said it was your favorite one. And on YouTube, 29% of you said that. Uh, personally, it is also my favorite one. So it's a little bit sad that it landed itself at the A tier. And then the 2019 set on YouTube, 60% of you said that this one was your favorite one. So it's a really big gap there. And on Twitter, it was a little bit closer. 47% of you said that this one was your favorite one. On Discord, it was even closer because on this one, they were really battling it out because the 2019 set 141 of you voted for that one and on the 2020 set 136 of you voted for that one so pretty close uh you guys can argue it out in the comments below but that's the rankings all right so now we're going to rank these individually and there are going to be some minor changes because some of these sets were being carried by the other sets in their lineup and vice versa some of them are being brought down because of the other sets a good example is the condescent set the titan set is basically trash and was holding back these two i feel like the hunter set specifically isn't deserving of the d tier the chest plate and the leg combo are pretty damn good especially if you didn't actually complete the event and you have the non-glowing version of it it's pretty snazzy same thing goes for the warlock again not the best thing ever and not deserving a b tier but i have seen a couple of looks with the robes and the legs that have actually turned out pretty well and then the sunset set for the titan the 2021 set this one is being brought down by the other two sets uh this one i'm gonna move up to b tier 
because I see the arms, the legs, and the mark used quite often. So I feel like Titan mains like this one a lot more than the Warlock mains or the Hunter mains like their set. The Hunter set might be a really weird in between the B and the C, like a like a B minus almost, because I see the legs and the arms used on occasion. The reason the Warlock set stays here is because I've seen a couple of looks with the legs. The legs are probably the only good part about the set. Moving up to our B tier to see if any of these are going to move up. I think I'm going to move up the Titan by a tier just because if more people had access to the 2018 set, I feel like they would use it more often. Uh, the chest is pretty awesome. The legs are pretty cool. It's also just an overall clean looking armor set. Um, I'm going to leave the 2018 sets for the Hunter and for the Warlock here just because they're not bad at all. Um, the Hunter maybe could even be brought down to a C. This is another like B minus. Uh, I don't really see anybody using it, but it's again, it's not a bad set. And for the Warlock, I really only see the legs being used and sometimes the helmet. Uh, they're pretty useful for like solar builds, especially those legs because of the way that they glow. Now for the A tier, I'm going to actually move up two from here. Uh, the arms, the helmet, and the legs on the 2020 set and for both the Titan and the Hunter are used so often. Actually, for the Hunter, this one is the most deserving of the S tier, in my opinion. Just because if you actually keep an eye out, you're going to notice that a lot of Hunter mains use this set, both the glowing and the non-glowing version mixed together with a lot of other sets. It's really good for night builds. I see the glowing version of the helmet used in a lot of cosplays. People really do like those devil horns. Now, the reason the warlock one doesn't move up is a lot of the set is kind of too bulky for people's liking, but I do know that the helmet is one of the best helmets for the warlock, and I know that people really enjoy that one. And we're just going to keep the 2019 Titan and Hunter up here. I think both of those sets are really solid. Specifically the Titan, the helmet has a really special place in my heart. It's the helmet that I used with my SIVA build that got me on the cover of Bungie's fashion magazine. So yeah, special place in my heart. There might be a bias towards that one. And then the Hunter, this armor I do see used so often. The cloak, the helmet, the legs an overall really good set and lastly i'm actually going to bump the warlock down here to a tier this one i don't see a lot of people use the robes or the bond or the gloves something that's really common with this one is the legs and the helmet are used pretty often especially whenever people want to do a solar theme to their set so yeah, still a good set, but I don't really feel like it's up here with the S tiers. And that's it. That's where I stand on these sets. If you end up not liking any of the new armor this year, the community would recommend that you either get the 2019 sets or the 2020 sets if they're available. You really can't go wrong with either one. But of course, that is my opinion. And now I want to know yours. Which year was the best year in your eyes? And which is your favorite individual set? Let's keep the conversation going in the comments. And if you want a more in-depth review of any of these sets from the previous years, I'll leave those in the description of this video. Shout out to all of my amazing Patreon members. Without you, videos like this would not be possible. Here's a couple of their sets that they've made with the Solstice armor in the past. I will see all of you very soon for my review on the new armor. But in the meantime, go ahead and click on any of the videos popping up in your end card now. For example, the video that I did last year on the Condescent sets. And as always, stay beautiful.